Goose's family arrived to see him. Yeah, and Goose, lucky dog, is married to Meg Ryan. 80s Meg Ryan. Yeah, who was incredible. Yes, and Goose is not. <laughs> Let's be honest. He looks yeah. like a salamander with a moustache. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Salamander with a moustache and spiky hair. You just go like, "Wow, Goose, is that your wife?" Yeah. Really? No. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you must be really funny. Yeah. <laughs> really funny. <laughs> must be packing. <laughs> packing all the jokes. <laughs> Better alive, you're coming with me. Wendy, I'm home. I'm a vampire! 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 Take your friends with you! Carpet day! No! Get off my plane. Remember Sally when I promised to kill you last? That's what made you think you did. I lied. Right, ready? Yup. Cool. Hello everybody and welcome to Movies to Drink To. My name is Finn. I'm Mr. Smith. And today we are taking a look at one of the biggest films of the 1980s. The biggest film of 1986. Uh-huh. The iconic... Don't forget to like and subscribe because this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, Top Gun. Top Gun. From 1986. Directed by Tony Scott. Yes. Who made some fantastic films. He did. Uh, some not great. Uh, he did make uh, True Romance, which is one of my favourite films ever. True Romance is fantastic. Yes. Uh, uh, but mainly action films. Yeah, he was very, uh, quite a stylistic sort of director. Mm. But, um, but yeah, Man was... on Fire is quite good. Yes. He did, oh, what's that thing with Will Smith and Gene Hackman? Um, oh, Enemy, Enemy of the State. Enemy of the State, yeah. yeah. That's a bit of a forgotten classic. Yeah. Although it's very much of its time, that film. Yes. Yes, with the technology. Anyway. And produced by the Uber producers that are Jerry Brockheimer and Don. Don's. I love cocaine Simpson. <laughs> who I actually proclaimed once in my younger years that that's who I wanted to be. Wow. And I was like, he's, he's amazing. This is before I'd even touched cocaine. And I was like, that's the guy I want to be. And was then this I tried. Before he died? <laughs> this was before he died. All oh, right. Well, no, it was after he died, obviously, because this would have been in the 90s. He, he died in 96. In the, 96. Was yeah. It? it might have been before, just before. But yeah, it was a weird proclamation to make. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this guy was... Like, he was the Hollywood... Excess. Like, yes, excess, yeah. yes. And uh, well, he paid for it with his life. Mm. Anyway, it stars Tom Cruise, Callie McGuinness, Tim Robbins. I don't know why I've put him so high up on it. He's actually barely, barely in it. Yeah. Uh, Val Kilmer, Anthony Edwards, Tom Scritt. Michael Ironside, John Stockwell, and just loads of other fucking people. Um, it's got a phenomenal cast. And a young Meg Ryan. Yes. Yes. The plot of this film, <laughs> Be Earth. Uh, the plot is, as students of the United States Navy's elite fighter weapons school compete to be best in class, one daring young pilot learns a few things from a civilian instructor that are not taught in the classroom. That's porn. <laughs> Rim jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you how to eat pussy. Yeah, because <laughs> they're not going to show you this in flight school. That reads like a porn parody. <laughs> it does. It really does. Yeah. Um, so the film starts with um, a bit of reading. We've got to do, which everyone enjoys when they go to the cinema. Yeah. is reading stuff. Did you write this down? I did. Uh, would you like to, or would you like me to? Uh, go on, Adam. So on March 3rd, 1969, the United States Navy established an elite school for the top 1% of its pilots. Its purpose was to teach the lost art of aerial combat and to ensure that the handful of men who graduated were the best fighter pilots in the world. They succeeded. Mm. Today, the Navy today, the Navy calls it Fighter Weapons School. The Flyers call it Top Gun. 
the flyers. Do you mean the pilots? That's what it says, the flyers. I know, but, but it's that just... whole last like sentence, it does sound like somebody just forgot all the words for things. Is it was a, <laughs> was it, today the navy calls it fighter weapon school. That's like <laughs> they're, air, they're planes. <laughs> And the flyers, pilots, uh, call it <laughs> Top Gun. Oh, yeah. So that's that's the opening uh, little bit of info. Mm. That you, all you need, really, yep. to get straight. Cue Kenny Loggins. Yes, yeah, Danger Zone. Danger Zone. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, yeah. This, this is where it comes from, by the way, for people who don't know. This yeah. is where this song comes from. And, yeah, Kenny Danger Zone is playing whilst people on an aircraft carrier watch... Planes take off and land. Yeah, well, it seems like they're all very busy. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like there should be some real action going on, but really, it's just guys like with the the little things waving this yeah. way, that way, land here, uh, uh, cleaning at sunset stuff. or dawn, whatever. It's, it's a very Tony Scott sort of setting. Yes, right? it is. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, that's that's a, that's our little opening, and this is in the Indian Ocean in present day. In present day, in 1986. Yes, in 1986, <laughs> uh, on a ship. Um, and yeah, they're on this ship and they spot on their radar unknown aircraft on well, its way. Principal Strickland from Back to the Future is in charge of this ship. Yes, he's the captain. I guess so. Or admiral. admiral yes, admiral, he's the it? guy in charge. Yes, and um, everyone everyone on this ship and in the planes and throughout this entire film is sweating profusely. Yeah, well sweaty. Even like the dude just on the, on the radar with a yeah. radio thing in his ear like Madonna is just sweating. Yeah. They're all dripping with sweat. I imagine it's a high stress sort of situation. But throughout this whole film, everyone's just sweating fucking yeah. bollocks. So yeah, there, there is an unknown aircraft on its way, but it's not a UFO. No. It's not that interesting. So up in the air already is Maverick and Goose. Maverick and Goose are up there. Yeah. As are Cougar and Merlin. Cougar and Merlin. They've all yeah, got... There's a Cougar up yeah. there. <laughs> it's definitely a porno, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, basically they've all got cool signs. They've all got nicknames. Yeah. Uh, so Tom Cruise is Maverick. Yep. Uh, Anthony Edwards is Goose. Yep. You've got Val Kilmer later on. He's Iceman. Ice Man. You've got Hollywood. Yeah. Um, what do Tim we... Robbins is Merlin. Uh, Merlin. Yep. They've all got like these, yeah, Maverick and Iceman. And then there's one who's like, no, <laughs> my name is Goose. <laughs> <laughs> what a... T- oh, it's by... <laughs> who's called Goose? It's the worst <laughs> one by a mile. This is Maverick. <laughs> this is Iceman. Yeah, this is Merlin. This is Hollywood. This is Goose. <laughs> why is he called goose because <laughs> he looks like a bird <laughs> yeah it's never really touched on why he's called like goose i mean you get a bit of an explanation for Sir Iceman. you do yeah uh, and maverick i mean it's obvious yeah because <laughs> he's tom cruise he's a bit of a maverick yeah um <laughs> uh yeah but goose never explained yeah yeah anyway so they're up there also ghost riders one of them yes and i think there's one called sunrise i don't is there? Yeah, one's called Sunrise. Sunrise. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. Anyway, so um, yeah, they're up there in the air, but there, there's, a, there's a couple of MIGs up there yeah. as well. And there's all lots of flying around and they, they scare the MIGs off. Well, they scare one of them off. They scare a MIG off. And then one of the other dudes, uh, he gets a bit funny. He has, well, basically a panic attack. Yes. Which in the 80s would have been like fucking pathetic yeah you're being institutionalized (laughs) so yeah he gets chased by a mig it freaks him out tom cruise flies upside down and gives the mig pilot the finger yeah because he's that good he takes a polaroid yep he can fly like upside down directly cockpit to cockpit which has got to be physically like science dictates surely that that (laughs) can't be possible (laughs) but apparently it is and he scares (laughs) him off with the finger um but the pilot that got chased he has a panic attack yes and if anyone's ever had a panic attack, you know they're pretty awful. Imagine having one whilst trying to fly an F-14. Yeah, fuck that. It, it's got to be just the... Even what I was like, that's just got to be the worst thing possible like to happen to you, whilst, apart from dying uh, or crashing. Like, oh, oh, fuck. I had one while trying to operate the glass washer in, in the back bar of the pub, and that was hard <laughs> enough. So fuck flying a jet. Yeah. So Maverick, he's about to land, but then he realises that Cougar's having a panic attack, so he doesn't yeah. land. And he turns around, even though they've got no fucking fuel, but he's a maverick, and he guides him back in by talking to him, because he's just, he's just that good. Yeah. Maverick is that good at flying. He can literally talk you out of a panic attack. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, he can do everything. They, so they both land Smug safely. Face, twat. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like? Do you not like I him? I fucking hate Tom Cruise. <laughs> I admit he makes some good films, but I hate him. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, he is. Uh, in this film, especially, it's smug. Oh, it's, it's her, anyway, we'll, <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> so they've landed safely, but Cougar quits. Yes, because he's had panic attack and, and he's got a kid it's, or it's the eighties. His life's over. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah, <laughs> he's had a panic attack in public. So like now, every 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 like male that he bumps into now is going to be like, man up. Yeah, he like, has to uh, basically spend less rest of his life in solitude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not talking about it. Yeah. And just drinking like yeah. an old grizzled man. Yeah. Until one day they need him to come back. <laughs> we need you back, Cougar. I said I'm done with aviation. <laughs> As he sips. His, I can't handle it, man. But we need you. We need you back in the cockpit. And he comes back. He's like, all right, I'll do it. For America. <laughs> and that's how you overcome anxiety, people. <laughs> Would have been a much better film. Yeah. And just being honest, at least what I just said had a plot. Yeah. This, has, there's no, nothing really happens in this film. Uh, anyway, Google quits. He does. And uh, Maverick, he's called into the office along with Goose, and basically they get a bollocking. Yeah. For disobeying orders and Strickland yells Strickland, at says, yeah. uh, for being, was it your, your ego is writing checks, your body can't cash. Yeah. Which but- is true. <laughs> he's an arsehole. Yeah. He's a dick. Yeah. Uh, so he's like, yeah, you're a piece of shit. Your ego is like over the place. You're disobeying orders. Anyway, I'm sending you off to super duper school. Yeah. Because Cause Cougar was supposed to go. Yeah. But he's like, uh, well, he's had a panic attack. So he's a woman now. <laughs> and he can't go. He's not allowed. <laughs> yeah. No men women. Only. Yeah. No, no. Real men. Yeah. <laughs> women they can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Women can't fly in this. No. They're not allowed. No. They can know things. Yeah. But not how to fly. No, 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 no. Just no, men. No, no. And not men that have panic attacks. Yes, no. Because they're, yes. they're not men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, disclaimer, by the way, we're not taking the piss. We both suffer from panic attacks. Yeah, yeah, like, we just Terrible sound like anxiety. we're making like, fun yeah. of people with anxiety. That's us. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they are sent to Top Gun School. Yes. This is the one they mentioned. It's the best of the best. Uh, this is an hour after Miramar, California. Mm-hmm. And Tom Cruise arrives at Miramar, California, on his motorcycle. With no helmet on. No, I don't, yeah, that was, laws are different out there. The 80s. The 80s. Yeah, there California. wasn't a lot of brain damage around. Like, no. um, or deaths on motorbikes. No. <laughs> so he rides up there, and as a plane, like, passes by or is landing, oh, yeah. he kind of cheers it and gives, like, <laughs> a fist bump. Fist like, pump. Yeah! Like, come on. You must see that every fucking day. Maverick, and you're like, yay, yeah. plane! Like, no, it's the first jet I've ever seen. You were in one. <laughs> <laughs> and then he rides his motorcycle onto the runway. Yeah, that's not allowed. No, what are you doing? <laughs> like, at did all. you not go through the gate? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like people a secu- chasing after yeah. him. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Security guard, like, you don't out. have a pass! <laughs> 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 it's fucking planes crashing around him. Oh, Christ. So now they're in the Top Gun school, and uh, Michael Ironside is looking one of the teachers. young as fuck. Yeah, probably the youngest I've seen him in a film. Tom Cruise? No, but Michael Ironside. Oh, Michael Ironside. Yeah, he's one of the. Uh, the he's still bold. <laughs> oh yeah, he was but boring. he doesn't look quite as grizzled. As no, he, yeah, he doesn't quite young. So uh, Michael Ironside is the the teacher, um, and basically, yeah, like he explains, the whole idea is we're going to teach you how to dogfight. Because the US Navy, we got too rely, re, we rely too much on missiles. Yeah. And then in Vietnam, we actually got shot down when other planes showed up. Yeah. So we need to we need to learn how to dogfight, and that's what the whole point of it is. But only you guys are being trained to dogfight. Yeah. Every other pilot's fine. So if you're on the other side of the world and we need a dogfight over here, you've got to be thick. Quick. Yeah. Like, and also, you know, there's only like what twenty of you. Yeah. So every other pilot doesn't know how to do it. Yeah. We're only teaching you 20 people. Every other pilot's just laughing at Top Gun. Like, they've got to fucking... They've, they've got to actually do the work. We just fire missiles. Yeah. Like, but if you get in a dogfight and you haven't been to Top Gun school, you're fucked. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> You've got a problem. There's also a point in this where, um, like, Michael Einstein's showing them a video or something, and uh, I think it's Hollywood or one of the others, he, leans over to his mate and he goes, uh, what's it? This gives me a hard-on. And his mate looks at him and goes, don't tease me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> One of them's getting a boner. Yes. And um, the other one <laughs> is interested in that boner. <laughs> yeah. It seems. Um, uh, I mean, there are many, many jokes about the homoerotic undertones. 
they're not undertones in this film. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, this. I mean, this this film was either briefly preceded or followed the um, village people hit in the navy. Um, and some would say that the U.S. Navy was turned into a floating joke for <laughs> a number of decades. Um, it is, I mean, there's something wrong with being gay, but when you're trying to portray these men that are supposed to be super macho, yeah. when they're actually not, it's a bit of a contradiction. It, and it's yeah. confusing. You're like, well, hang on, they're like super tough men, and they like drinking beer and like fucking women but also slapping each other's asses yeah there's a lot of just lines of dialogue in this and it's so like it just seems you're like that they just stick out and you're just like oh well, what's happening i mean the, 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 but this this film does make brokeback mountain look like a film about two grezzed like heterosexual men just yes. hanging out yeah <laughs> yeah so we're introduced to Viper. This is Tom Skerritt's Tom character. Skerritt, yep. He is a former head of Top Gun. He gets a full-on reveal turn. Yes. Like they go, oh, there's a code name Viper, and he sort of walks up, but you don't see, you only see him a bit from the back, and then he does this whole spin around, and yeah, it's, like, <gasps> it's Tom Skerritt. Yeah. Who, uh, at one point, was a big star. <laughs> <laughs> but he is, um, a f- so basically in Top Gun school, the very best of the class gets their name on a board, and they are the Top Gun yeah. of Top Guns. And he is a former Top Gun of Top Guns, and he now teaches. Yeah. Well, and that's what you win. You win the they, chance yeah, if to... You get to... If you get your name on that board, you can come back as a Top Gun like teacher. teacher. Yeah. Which yeah. Is like, okay. <laughs> I suppose it's better than getting shot down. <laughs> I swear, yeah. <laughs> so we're introduced to Viper. And Iceman. Iceman is Val Kilmer's character, Iceman. Iceman and Maverick lock eye each other up. Yeah. <laughs> like he's, the he's had no lines of dialogue yet, nope. but they just give each other a look like, you piece he's of literally shit. literally got like a pen in his mouth. He's like, yeah. Like just. He's making eyes at him. It's a bit like, <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. And uh, Maverick, he reckons he's going to be top of the class. He's going to be the top gun. Yeah. No one else does. Everyone thinks it's a prick. Well, yeah, he's just like, uh, scary. He's like, you think your name will be on there? He's like, yes, sir. And Iceman stops flirting because he's annoyed now. Yes. He's like miffed. Because so Iceman's kind of like, well, well I'm the best. best. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Iceman is supposedly the best, but Maverick's supposedly the best. Ooh, rivalry. And that's it. And then Iceman turns and he goes, the, pl- the plaque for the alternates is down in the ladies' room because women can't fly planes, like if this hasn't been mentioned before. Yes. Uh, this is the 80s when men were men and had big hair and wore lycra yes. uh, and headbands and did disco. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they could not fly planes. Women could not fly planes. <laughs> <laughs> they go to a bar, or as Tom Cruise calls it, a target-rich environment. <laughs> yeah, oh, this whole thing's horrendous. But yeah, this is um, this the, is problematic. Yeah, they go to the they go to a bar because that's what you want when you're flying planes at hundreds of miles an hour in the morning. Alcohol. A hangover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> but people don't get hangovers. No, in this not segment. in films. Uh, Ice Man is there wearing sunglasses indoors because he's a douchebag. Fucking cunt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not more than Tom Cruise, but still. Yeah. Iceman comes over to uh, chat some shit. To talk yeah. a bit of smack to Maverick. But they, I mean, it still comes off as flirting. They are very close to each other. Like, yeah. Next, like almost breathing, breathing each other's air. Yeah. <laughs> and Val's doing, he's got this glint in his eye and this yeah. big toothy grin as he's like, it's, and yeah, they're intensely close to one another I as mean, they're talking. Don't get me wrong. I kind of enjoy the love story between them. Just, <laughs> yeah, the, the, that the permeates this film. Yeah. I just wish it had gone, like been taken to its conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been much like, instead of like trying to pass it off as not being a gay film. Oh, well, no, because it's not because Maverick decides he wants to try and pull a woman. Yes. Uh, this woman walks this is, in. Yeah. Horrendous. This, to this bar. And, Maverick and Goose decides to start singing to this blonde woman who's just sat down at a bar. Well, Goose bets Maverick twenty bucks, right? That he he can't basically can't fuck a woman at, at the disco or wherever they are. This bar, um, yeah. He goes, yeah, because you, know, you 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 have to have carnal knowledge on the premises of this one. So he bets him, yeah, twenty dollars that he can't fuck some woman like on the on, premises, in the toilets, on, the... Like, somewhere on the premises, basically, right? Uh, and he looks straight at Kelly McGillis. And he's like, oh, well, she's lost that loving feeling. And they're like, oh, I'm going to do this again. Yes. So he starts singing, you've lost this, lo- you've lost this loving feeling by the Righteous Brothers. Yes. Which is and a great song. Everybody joins in. It is a great song. Yeah. He starts, so he walks up to her. He's got a microphone from somewhere he's grabbed. Yes. And he starts singing at Carrie McGillis <laughs> this Righteous Brothers song. And Goose joins in. Yep. And then all of the Navy recruits join in. Yeah. And all start singing it with him. And then it comes to like the bridge of the song and they start doing the bass line a cappella. Yep. Like 
He must do this every Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, but Matt breaks up and doing it again. He's only just got to Top Gun. So who are these people? He's I don't know. He's just brought them with him. <laughs> like, he's just turned up to like, all his mates. He's, he's got such a up. reputation yeah. for singing Righteous Brothers songs at people. It's like, oh, he's the doing the thing. The thing. Oh, which one's yeah. he doing? I'm so glad I learned this. And they all, <laughs> pra- they all practice the little harmonies quickly. And they all run over and join him to seduce this woman. By the way, this has never worked in the history of bars. No. Don't try this. No. Uh, you <laughs> look like Dear an God, absolute no. prat. Although I like the, you know, it's at least it's a bit of effort. <laughs> this is what it was like in the 80s when things were romantic. Instead of people like, can I have your Snapchat, love? Nice tits. Nice tits. <laughs> Go get your Snapchat. You on TikTok. <laughs> uh, but it, it kind of kind of works. But kind of works. She does invite him to sit down. Yes, but then um, her date arrives and she leaves. Well, is it her date? Of- no, I, I was. A sh- I, I thought it was a dad. I mean, he's a much older bloke. He's the guy in the tower, like in a minute. Yeah, but um, he gets a load of paperwork out, doesn't he? Yeah. So, so I think well, it's a work. Oh colleague. yeah, that's because we don't know who she is properly yet. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it, and then Tom, fucking maverick dick. Uh, he starts mansplaining. Like she goes, "Oh, you're a pilot," and he goes, "Well, a naval aviator." Yeah. He also introduces himself as Maverick. Yeah. Twat. That's it. Who the fuck introduces like? Introduces themselves with their nickname. Yeah, call me that. Fuck off. My it buddies call me Maverick, right? What's your real name? Peter. Yeah, it's, yeah Peter. His name's Peter in this film. Pete, Peter Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my friends call me Maverick. Why is that? Because I told them to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Then, then he does, he, he makes this dick move, which you know Tom Cruise would actually do in real life as well, because she basically like fucks him off. Mm. Uh, and he's like, oh, I need a beer to put these flames out. And he just turns around to the bar staff. He's like, yo! And I'm like, oh! <laughs> fucking boils my blood. <laughs> <laughs> After having worked behind the bar for 20 odd years, I would have been like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Get off, you midget. <laughs> yeah. Come here with your teeth too big for your fucking mouth. <laughs> My cunt. I hate him. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, oh, it you just know. annoyed me. I had to pause it, and I was like, oh, just fuck you. But when he gets worse, he follows her into the woman's bathroom. Like a rapist. <laughs> he just follows her in, and uh, he suggests that they bang on the sink counter there, yeah. right there and then. And he's like, yeah, ditch the old man. Yeah. Like, whoever he might, might be a dad. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm saving you from making a mistake with that old man. And she's like, what, to make my mistake with a young man like you? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mentioned my name's Maverick. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I'm really a naval aviator. <laughs> God. Uh, anyway, she doesn't bang him. Have I explained Scientology to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't bang him. She leaves, but she gives Goose the idea that they did just bang. Uh, so he, Goose yeah, loses the, the bet. Yeah. yeah, I don't understand. Don't anyway, the next day, uh, they're in the classroom. The hang- They're in the hangar. Yeah, the hangar classroom. classroom. And uh, Michael Ironside mentions that there are some civilians that are to help with the teaching because apparently civilians have the best knowledge of the enemy aircraft. Why do civilians (laughs) know more about enemy aircraft than people in the Navy? I mean, I'd immediately think spy. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, she's got a PhD in astrophysics. Oh, I just put... She has a PhD and is an expert in aeronautical shit. Um... (laughs) But yeah, this woman, the civilian shows up and it's the woman from the bar. Yeah, it's Kelly McGillis. Yes, who uh, has a call sign, which is Charlie. She has her own call sign. Which yeah, is which weird because she doesn't... Un, fl- yeah, unearned. Yeah, and she, well, she doesn't fly. She's a woman. The call sign's Charlie because she's bang on the coke. <laughs> <laughs> but Don Simpson, can we, can, we call, yeah. can we call a character Charlie? Can you think it'll be funny, guys? <laughs> Let's call a character Charlie. It'll be really hilarious. Anyway, so she is one of the teachers. Yes. Maverick brags. Uh, Maverick brags about his moves mm. in the plane. <clears throat> anyway, then they fly around the desert yeah. for ages, chasing each other in planes. Uh, Maverick and Goose are chasing or being chased. They win. I don't really know what the fuck's going on. Oh yeah, they're flying against some sort uh, of exercise. Ironside, and it's like a yeah a training thing. Jester, that's his cool Jester. Sign. That's yeah. it. And uh, they do that. Uh, this this move where he says. He, pulls the brakes on or something yeah so like the guy's behind him he's got a lock on him and he hits the brakes so he goes over the top of him and comes up behind him yeah but they're too low well they after they do that jester drops down as that and they go after him but the rules say you can't go below ten thousand feet so they technically win but they broke the rules 
Yes. Yeah. But they've won the thing, the game. They think. The game that morning. Yeah. Whatever. Um, then they do a flyby, the tower. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Buzzy's the tower. Yeah, That's which it. scares the shit out of all the people in the tower. And he, like, drops as it would. Over yep. <laughs> yeah. And then Maverick and Iceman have a bit of more flirting in the locker room. Yes, because it turns out Iceman also won the flying game. Yeah. And he tells Maverick he he doesn't like him because he's dangerous and he's unsafe, uh, which is fair. Yeah. Because he is. It's entirely fair. Yes. Uh, even in real life. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then he does, Tom Cruise does a weird, like, crazy look, like, in his eye. And uh, Val Kilmer does this jaw click. He does a biting, like, he does, like, a little bitey <laughs> yeah, face. Like, oh, this is this is flirting. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's like, you're crazy. He's like, damn right. He's like, Arr. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you. Oh, I just want to eat you up. Blood going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I've, this fucking cracked me up because they're sent to the office yes. and the guy from the tower's in there and he's yelling I want some butts and I want them now <laughs> and then he storms out and he knocks coffee all over the place blades for carrying coffee knocks coffee all over the place he goes oh that's twice and he goes I want some butts <laughs> we get it you're yeah. gay the whole navy's gay we get it Christ so um yeah Maverick and Goose have got to go see Viper to have a bollocking because they did the fly past the tower thing. Yeah. And also, technically, they didn't win because they broke the rules. They broke the rules. Yep. So they didn't win shit. So he's not actually that fucking good, is he? Oh. Maverick, you prick. And as he leaves, Viper, Viper mentions that he flew with his old man. Yeah. This is the first time Duke it's... Duke Mitchell. Duke Mitchell. <laughs> this is Maverick's dad, who was something of a Maverick himself, it seems. Yep. And he flew with his dad. Duke Maverick Mitchell was his full name. <laughs> he was Pete a... Duke Maverick Mitchell, <laughs> senior. Senior. <laughs> yeah, he was a, a pilot himself, and obviously a bit of a maverick. And he, uh, but there's a bit of a something going on. Like he was a bit. I don't know. It's not, it's not explained. Well, it's hinted that, that he wasn't. Yeah, so, something happened. Yeah, we don't know what. there's something. It's, it's hinted that his dad fucked something up. Yeah. Anyway, that <laughs> night, Goose can't sleep. And he's worried, so he goes into Maverick's room and he's worried. And um, oh, Maverick is waiting for him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's doing some homework. Well, Goo, Goo, Goo says he's nervous to fly with him, yeah. which he would be because he's fucking lunatic. Well, he's like, yeah, he's like, I've got kids, man. I want to like actually graduate this yes. thing. Like, this, this would be like don't a I, big deal. Yeah, I don't want to screw it up. Yeah, can you stop being a bell end? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> and Maverick says to Goose, well, he's like, you're, but you're the only family I've got. I wouldn't screw this well, yeah, up. Goose mentions his dad again. Like, yes, I know it's tough for you because you was Duke Mitchell's kid, and Duke Mitchell was you know that guy and, yeah, and that thing that happened, which we're not going to talk about just yet. It's like, yeah, I know, and my dad's the reason I couldn't get into fly school, but then I did somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, what he says, yeah. he says like but Maverick I told him my name was Maverick. And yeah, he, was like, he not could, Pete Mitchell. <laughs> he couldn't get into the academy or something. I don't know. It's just like, well, what's going? Okay, so there's a thing with his dad established. Yeah. We get it, right? <laughs> The next day in the classroom, uh, Maverick flirts with Charlie. It's awful. Yeah, it's... He gets a date out of it. Yeah, she literally writes on, like, in massive letters as well. <laughs> like, it's not, like, uh, subtle whatsoever. Like, if she doesn't want the rest of the class to... It's, like, this big, like, my whole fucking A4 pad. And it's written, <laughs> dinner at mine! 7.30, yeah. here's the address. Bring your penis! <laughs> <laughs> and then... So he's got the date. But this is also, like, fucking... There's one of the most juvenile fucking jokes in this bit as well because slider is sat in front of him and he's got like a model airplane or something he goes oh crashed and burned ha huh, mav and he goes Woo! and uh, tom cruise gets right in his face he goes slider and he, you stink and then walks out yeah <laughs> and slider's all like now self-conscious like, do i actually do smell I just, it's like, like no, you don't. just gonna have a good slider your mum <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> slider is a uh, ice man's Fly buddy. Yeah. What do they call them? Backseat driver. Back, I don't know. <laughs> this guy in the back doing, doing nothing? Yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, what do they do? Just I... panic in this film for a lot of <laughs> yeah. it. Basically, all of yeah. the guys in the Where back. Where is he? Yeah. <laughs> That's all they do. Especially Tim Robbins. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, what's going on? <laughs> you literally got... It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm sure there is a reason for it in real life, but you've got a guy in the front yeah. who flies the plane yeah. And shoots the missiles. Yeah. And then you've got a guy sat behind him just <laughs> going, ah! <laughs> That's, That's all what it seems to be. Isn't yeah. It? I'm pretty sure they are, some, they're like a spotter almost. Or navigation. Like navigation. I don't know. They uh, must, yeah. Obviously, they must serve some sort of purpose. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose it's just like just. 
<laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Here's a pilot, and behind you, whilst you're flying this F-14 at hundreds of miles an hour... There's a panicky man. Yeah, we're going to put a man with severe anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem to be their only purpose. Anyway, so we say he's got the date. But before that, we get... The volleyball the scene. The volleyball scene. The, they have a vo- the, the infamous volleyball yeah. game. Uh, and the soundtrack is another Kenny Loggins film yeah. called Playing With The Boys. Film? Uh, sing, song. Sing, uh, song. Did I say, what did I say? <laughs> you said film. Did Kenny I, Loggins another film. Kenny Loggins song. Yeah, it's called, called playing, playing With The Boys. Yes, it's literally playing. <laughs> yeah. And they're all oiled up. <laughs> like but they're shirtless. not boys. They're definitely men. Mm. They're definitely men. No one in Hollywood plays with boys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so yeah they're playing volleyball there's muscles and sweat posing there's, there's ass slapping and hugging yeah um it's it is it's it the is gayest it, scene in any film it ever is shot. like not to sound derogatory but it <laughs> yeah, is fucking it is. gay it's gay as hell um but remember all these guys are straight yeah yeah, definitely. He's a macho man. He's a macho um, man. Yeah. Oiled up, greased up. Uh, like you see, there's, is it slider? It literally just poses. Yeah, just poses for no in reason. the sun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're playing volleyball. This is Goose and Maverick are playing against Iceman and Slider. Yeah. The game's getting pretty intense. They're both apparently really good at volleyball. Fuck off, is Tom Cruise good at volleyball? <laughs> He's like... Four foot. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, bang. It's like, oh, come on. No one's believing that Tom Cruise is... A- also, who the fuck... What man plays volleyball? In the, the 80s. Do. The US Navy do. In the 80s, men It's their game of choice. Volleyball. I don't think men play volley- volleyball now. There must be an Olympic men's Olympic team. But it's generally not a sport that the guys go and play. Well, yeah, of all the games, like if this was supposed to be like, we're trying to portray them as macho men, um, volleyball isn't the first pick. No. Really. Um, I don't know what would be. What's a macho game? Rugby. Rugby. But this is an American. So American football. Yeah, but then we can't show them with their tits out. Yeah, good point. (laughs) They've got to wear the pads. Actually, yeah, I guess aesthetically for the film, volleyball makes the most sense. Yeah. Yeah. If we want to oil them up and uh, show them like, you know, bashing bodies together. Slapping each other's asses. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Maverick leaves the game to go meet Charlie. Doesn't shower, leaves the game and immediately goes. Yeah, immediately. Yeah. It's when we get the first uh, couple of bars of Take My Breath Away. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, they play this song a lot. Yeah. Apparently Tony Scott really liked it, as did the producers, so they wrote in extra scenes where they could use it. Fucking hell. <laughs> like, Kenny Loggins is going to do the entire soundtrack. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he goes to Charlie's. They have a date. They have dinner. They drink wine again. He turns up and he, wants, he demands a shower. Like, well, like, say, he has just come from a. Yeah, like, and he's like, can I have a shower? Who turns up to a date and goes, can I use your shower? Someone who's been playing volleyball with the boys. <laughs> That's who turns up to a date and yeah. wants a shower. Can I shower all the, the, the man off me <laughs> like, <laughs> before we sit down? Um, yeah, so they have dinner, they drink wine. Again, not a good idea to drink if you're going to be flying, yeah. uh, but whatever. And uh, Maverick tells her about his dead parents. So um, it turns out his dad disappeared in a yeah, jet in, in the, the jet. 60s. Nicked it. Well, it's not really... It's sort of, there was some... He His dad made a mistake. Yeah. And he disappeared in a jet in the 60s. I don't know, like... I don't know. Flew to Monte Carlo. Yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> Sold it on the black market. Yeah. Made a killing. Yeah. <laughs> now I just live on a beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not dead. He just doesn't want anything to do with you, Maverick. Yeah. The old ball and chain back home. Wonder what they're doing. He's li- he's living in like, I bet, yeah, he fucked it off, flew to Havana. Now yeah. he drinks rum and smokes cigars all day. Good yeah, for him. What are these jets worth? Like 20 million or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the way my dad disappeared. They say it was his fault, but he definitely just absconded and yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he was he was made to leave, yeah, <laughs> and do something. Um, yeah, it's it's all very sort of we don't really know what's happened to him still. No, the next day um, after that well, day, this it, is some confusing ed- ed- like editing. I thought because he kind of leaves, yeah, uh, and he goes and she goes, oh, like, I'm going to go and get that shower, yeah, and then he's clearly just had a shower. And but then cut, yeah, it cuts to the him. The lift opens and she's in the lift. Like, Kenny yeah. Lewis is in the lift. I was 
So it cuts to he's him walking out of a shower, but not the shower he had at hers. Yeah. This is like the next day, we think. And they go... So it's him back at the academy. Yeah. He's had a shower. He walks out of the shower in a towel and he gets in a lift. Yeah. Why he hasn't dried off and gotten changed before yeah, getting in a lift, I don't on, know. Like a normal person. But he gets in the lift and Charlie is in the lift yeah. wearing a hat. Yes. We never see her wearing a hat at any point like, apart from in this in one scene. For some reason. Yes. So this that elevator scene was all shot months afterwards. Oh. And uh, Kelly McGuinness Gillis had gone on to make another film where she had dyed her hair brown. Uh, and it is sledgehammered in. Yeah, this weird little it scene. Is, it makes no and the yeah, they, it's not important. It doesn't no. serve any purpose. They're like the but, little flirting in the elevator things like, why yeah. is he dripping wet? And why did <laughs> he walks out of a fucking you wouldn't have a shower here and yeah. go and get in the fucking lift, would you? It doesn't make no, any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. And also it's also another time where he does that weird stare, he stares straight straight at her. I was like, he's gonna punch her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have some weird flow. The whole scene is just Pointless. Yeah, and another guy gets in the lift and looks all confused because Tom Cruise is in a towel. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember why they went back and shot it. I think maybe they could, so they could use bum, 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 <laughs> again. I don't, I can't remember. I did reads, yeah, but for some reason they went back, shot this, and then stuck it in the middle of maybe the film. Maybe they felt that the the romance between these two wasn't quite gelling, and they needed an extra flirty moment. Yes, with her in a cap yeah. and bomber jacket, or somebody had watched it and gone this. This is very gay, Tony. And he's gone, no, it isn't. Um, <laughs> Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis flirt all the time. Damn, one more. We need one more. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, so there is this thing that um, she's a bit obsessed with the, the MIG that he saw at the beginning. Yeah. And I think in the elevator, she pretty much just reveals that she's kind of using him to get information about it. Yes. It seems. Uh, okay, whatever. Anyway, Goose's family arrived to see him. Yeah, and Goose, lucky dog, is married to Meg Ryan. 80s Meg Ryan. Yeah, who was incredible yes and goose is not <laughs> let's be honest he looks yeah. like a salamander with a moustache <laughs> um, <laughs> salamander with a moustache and spiky hair you just are like wow goose is that your wife yeah really no yeah okay wow <laughs> you must be really funny yeah. <laughs> really funny <laughs> must be packing <laughs> Packing all the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, they've arrived. Uh, then there's some more classroom stuff. Maverick and Charlie make eyes at each other. She critiques him, and he gets a proper yeah, strop. She has the nerve, yep. to state the truth and say that his flying at the beginning of the film was dangerous and unnecessary, and definitely not textbook, and definitely not textbook. Yep. Yeah, and he. Uh, he takes it like a grown adult man, which Tom Cruise still isn't, uh, <laughs> and has a massive fucking pissy fit about yeah. it. And he rides off on his motor. So she his... comes to see him yeah. as he's stropping, not saying anything, gets gets on his bike, starts the engine, and she's like trying to talk to him. He's just revving the engine. Yeah. like, I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. He rides off. <laughs> yeah. And then and she jumps in the car. And, and nearly causes him. a massive pileup yeah. while they're chasing after him. And it's like, oh, these two deserve each other. Like, <laughs> yeah. She chases after him. Yeah. She catches up with him. They talk for seconds and then they bang. Yeah. Well, she's like, oh, I can't, bah, 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 bah. I can't tell everyone I'm falling for you. And then he does this weird aggressive kiss and then they're, they're banging. And the whole sex scene um, is like. Which I think the, was also shot later. Was it? Yeah. But it's we like, needed more. Blah, 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 blah. It looks like Tom Cruise is looking elsewhere. Like he's not really <laughs> looking at Kelly McGillis. So I reckon there's a mirror <laughs> just out of shot that you can't see because he seems he seems really like intent on something, and it's, <laughs> it's not, not Kelly, McG <laughs> Kelly McGillis. No. Oh uh, yeah, they they bang to Berlin, to more, and yeah, I think that was added in because. Because we hadn't had enough heterosexual uh, stuff going on, or Berlin, or Berlin. <laughs> the next day, after they banged, more flying. Mm. Oh uh, yeah, this is uh, the iconic line. I feel the need, the, the need, need for, for speed. speed. So it was revealed that Maverick is just two points behind Iceman for the yep. Top Gun trophy, the toppest guns of the toppiest gun guns. <laughs> he can get it. He's only two points behind. So. Yeah. This is Maverick, and is it Hollywood is in another plane? Yeah. And they're chasing after Viper, who's decided he's going to have a fly. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Hollywood is chasing Viper. Yeah. Jester is also there. Viper and Jester are playing the bad guys. And 
Tom Cruise, Maverick, he is is a Hollywood's wingman. But he yeah, that's it. But he leaves him to yeah. go after Viper. Yeah, he makes uh, one of his uh, selfish calls. Yes, he leaves for. his wingman to go chase after Viper, and he thinks he's just about caught Viper. But then Jester appears. He's yeah. like, well, now I've got you, because Hollywood failed. Yeah. Well, yeah, he keeps saying like, because like, Hollywood's like uh, coming up to Jester or something, and like it's like fucking don't like keep saying don't leave me. Look. Uh, yeah, Hollywood was saying, "Don't leave, leave. Yeah, 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 don't leave." Like, ah, no, you, you look fine. Yeah, and he I'm gonna off. go. Yeah. And then, I mean, hope this is all obviously like war games, but basically they all end up dying. Yes. in in the games, uh, Maverick is killed because he left his wingman. And he's an idiot. Yeah, he's not that fucking good, is he? No. Uh, then in the shower room, Iceman tells Maverick he's an idiot, which is true. Yep. <laughs> I actually I like Iceman's character. Yeah, I mean, like, he's actually the most normal, hinged like. Yeah. Utterly, like, yeah. Like he, he, he's a good pilot. Yeah, <laughs> like a very good pilot. Yeah. So you've got Maverick, but he's I'm Tom Cruise. I'm a Maverick. It's like you're a bell end. Yeah. Like you're literally a prat. Yeah. <laughs> you are not doing any. Like you just got killed out there, essentially, and got Goose killed, and got fucking the Hollywood other one. Yeah. Everyone's dead killed. because you were like all of the other white men. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all you had to do was stay where you were. Mm. No, no. Anyway, later they're at another bar drinking again. <laughs> Yes, they do a lot of drinking. Yeah. It's probably why he keeps losing. Of course, probably why he keeps making all these stupid like, decisions. <laughs> yeah. He's fucked all the time. And uh, Meg Ryan and Charlie chat some shit. And see Goose is at the piano, yeah. singing Great Balls of Fire with his son. Yep. And everyone goes home and bangs. Yes. Apart from the son. Well, Meg Ryan <laughs> demands that Goose takes her home. Take me uh, to bed or leave me. Take me leave. to bed or lose me forever. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> give me that choice. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, which is weird because, I mean, her, their son is <laughs> right, right there. And she's like, take me to bed or lose me forever. And their son's like, la, 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 la. <laughs> Fingers and ears. Yeah. Anyway, some other shit with, I don't know, who cares. Next. We now, let's fast forward a bit. It's a week till graduation. Yes. More Kenny Loggins starts playing. Danger Zone again. Danger Zone. We see Iceman flying for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time we actually see this guy it's flying. It's been hinted at. <laughs> yes. And it's another flying training thing. Yeah. You've I think got... this is the first... Maverick and Iceman are going head to head. Well, you've got... They're like each other's wingman. Yeah. Uh, Maverick is Iceman's wingman. That's it. And they're ch- <clears throat> excuse me, chasing down this this MiG or the Jester. Yep. The, uh, the guy they've got to try and kill or shoot or fake shoot, whatever. It's like all a game. And Iceman is in front and he's can't quite get the shot i see and he's like he keeps saying like 20 seconds he's like just give me 20 seconds he's like just give me 10 seconds and maverick is right up his ass saying get out the way i can do it i can do it and i was like just 10 seconds i've got it it's like he's like right up his ass get out the way i got i'm maverick i can do it (laughs) i was like five seconds like literally seconds we're talking just fucking calm you down and maverick is pushing up his ass pushing up his ass and Iceman's like, right, I ain't got it. And Iceman breaks away. Yeah. And as he breaks away, the fucking jet stream, yeah. because Maverick is right up his ass, the jet stream hits Maverick and Maverick ends up in a tailspin. That's it. They lose the engines. They're totally fucked. They're yeah. going to crash. They pull the ejector thing out. Him and Goose eject out. As a Goose ejects out, he smashes his fucking head. Straight into the canopy. Straight into the canopy. They land. Goose is dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's sad. Um, <laughs> it is a sad moment. But yeah, he comes out and he hits the thing and like and they hit the water. I mean, if he wasn't dead before, he's definitely dead after he's kind of manhandled out of the water by Tom Cruise. And then he's kind of, he's attached to a rope on the helicopter. Yeah. Like a rag doll. Yeah. Like, almost. Well, it's, so, it's, I mean, yeah, by the time he gets to the top of that, he's definitely fucking dead. Yeah. There's a head injury there. Possible neck injuries. Yep. They're like, yeah, just hoist him up by the neck. Like, it'll be fine. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Maverick, my ass, just got a guy killed. Not yeah. only just a guy, the his only family he has. Best, yeah, his, his bestest, bestest yeah. mate in the whole World. universe. Yeah, all because like, but I'm Maverick, get out the way, right, man, I can do it. Mm. It's entirely his fucking fault. I don't care what that fucking court said. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. They were paid off by the sign. Yes. Yeah. Viper goes to see Maverick and tell him that Goose is dead. He tells him to get over it. Yeah, mate, this is like half an hour ago. Like, <laughs> Goose is not even like cold yet, yeah. and he's like walks in. And he's like fucking yeah. You've got to you've got to let him go. Yeah. 
this seems like a bit soon for a man up chat. <laughs> 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 It's like he's dead. He ain't coming back. Get the fuck over again. That playing. Yeah, son people of a bitch. die all the time. What's wrong with you? Fucking yeah, crying bitch. You have a panic attack, huh? Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like all the other pansies. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, Maverick gets away with it. He yeah. is um, basically they say the, the, the what do you call it in tribunal? The court? The, yeah, the Navy court. Yeah, so it finds that he is not at fault, even though he totally was. And uh, so he's back in a plane with a new guy. A new he is um. He, he's forgiven, well, not forgiven, but like he goes to, he goes to and touches all of Maverick stuff, puts it all in a box. Goose's stuff. Yeah, he takes Goose's stuff. His son is there, and, like, yes. and his wife, and he goes and takes a box of Goose's stuff, like including this is his for me. dog tags, including his dog tags, yes. which always strikes me as wrong. Yeah, they should, they should go to his son. Yeah, he takes, no, he takes it all for himself, and then goes to see Meg Ryan, who she's just like, <laughs> he loved to fly. Like, yeah, what? Yeah. Well, we're we're flying with you. Yeah, right up until that moment you got him killed, he yeah. left to fly. And she goes, yeah, he would have gone up there even without you and probably lived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that's the last we see of Meg Ryan and, and the, obviously, yeah. you know, Goose is dead, so she doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, uh, so sadly. Maverick is now later on, he's cleared of, you know, everything. He's back in a plane, he's got a new... Yes, Garrett wants him in the air. Yeah, he's got a new co-pilot. Um, but unfortunately, Maverick now sucks. Yeah, he now he's having panic attacks. Uh, yes, he's having panic attacks in the plane. <laughs> like, which again, not something you want at any time, but especially... <laughs> especially in the 80s. Especially um, in a fucking plane yeah. zooming around this guy. It's all right now. You can have panic <clears throat> attacks in planes all the time now if you want. Well, it's, it's socially acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Until you crash it. Yeah. And they, and they send the bill to your family. <laughs> Like, you know, if he was shot down in combat, combat, that's fair enough. But yeah. your husband had a panic attack. Yeah. That's all so, his yeah, fault. Yeah, that's your fault. Yeah. Anyway, so he's back in the plane, but he sucks now. He's having panic attacks. Yeah. He's then in the locker room. Iceman says he's sorry about Goose. That I actually, it's, this is the coldest ever. Mm. He says, I'm sorry about Goose. Everyone liked him. Yeah, yeah literally. <laughs> Unlike you, yeah. you sack of shit. So yeah, everyone liked Goose. Yeah. It was like, oh, Shame. Ice Man. That's why they call him Ice Man. That's it. Ice in the veins. <laughs> yeah, ice in the fucking veins, mate. The wrong one died, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, the like, wrong not, pilot died. If you're not catching on. <laughs> and um, But this is overheard by Wolfman, who's another pilot, obviously. It's not literally a Wolfman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just hiding out in the locker room. Um, yeah, Wolfman hears this, and then he gets on the phone, and he says, Maverick just quit. Um. Who he's talking to? I don't know. No idea. I don't know because nobody's supposed to know that him and Kelly McGillis are hooking up. What are they, or do they? Know? I don't, I don't no, know. I, no, I don't think so. But he gets on the phone and says Maverick has just quit. Who he's talking to? No idea. There's somebody on the other end going, "Who is this? <laughs> it's me, Wolfman. <laughs> Who's Maverick? Yeah. <laughs> like, how did you get this number? <laughs> it's, it's never mentioned again. Yeah. I don't, yeah, it As to who that was on the phone, I just assumed it was Kelly McGillis, but then that doesn't really make sense. But why would Wolfman be phoning Kelly? Who is Wolfman? He's yeah. not been mentioned before. No, nope, not at all. Like, you sit him in a plane, I think, like once. And now he's like, ah, oh, my best friend Maverick just quit. <laughs> we came up together. Wait, is, is this no, Goose? No, that was Goose. <laughs> no, it's Wolfman. Yeah. No, you're talking about Goose. No, no I, I no. was the best friend. I'm married to Meg Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> he's now. assumed his identity. <laughs> yeah. He's taking his dog tags. <laughs> <laughs> he's walking around with a fake moustache on. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, honey. I'm not dead, Meg Ryan. It's like Wolfman. We know it's you. <laughs> no, it's me, Goose. Goose. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the wrong animal. Like, no, it's definitely me, Goose. <laughs> He's done his hair up and everything, walking around, <laughs> trying to bang Meg Ryan. <laughs> like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Can't play the piano, but he's trying. <laughs> Great balls of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that scene is no, about. Yeah, it makes weird. no sense. It's never mentioned again. <laughs> Charlie then goes to see Maverick in a diner because it turns out Maverick he planned on leaving without saying goodbye to her, which is rude. Yeah, um, typical Tom Cruise. Yeah, I banged you once. Now I'm just leaving. And uh, Okay, whatever. So they chat. I don't I wasn't really paying attention. Anyway. Well, she kind of shames him. She's like basically like, oh, you're just going to quit, are you? Because you're good at that. For some reason, um, but yeah, and he's like, oh, 
has a bit of a cry. Yeah. And she leaves. And then, uh, then Maverick goes to see Viper at his house. The audacity. Yeah, on a Sunday apparently yeah. as well. Like he's having a family barbecue. Yeah. If, <laughs> if Tom Cruise showed up my Tom Cruise showed up my house any fucking day of the week, I'd be like, what are you doing here? I, um, I would just pretend not to be in. Because <laughs> like, I know like I, he's a bell end and stuff, but there's, there's something not right with him. I would pretend I didn't know he was Tom Cruise. <laughs> or I didn't know he was famous and then I'd call like the NHS number and yeah. have him committed like there is a man in my house he's acting really weird <laughs> he keeps saying I should know him but I definitely don't know who he is I feel like he would kill me but then he'd also just check for like um, like things to do with my family and stuff and then kill them as well yeah he's just got that about him mm. and he's got the whole of the power of the church of Scientology behind him as well <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gross. So yeah, he goes to see Viper, like we said. And then Viper says, again, I flew with your father. Oh, yeah, then we get the full story. The full story. It turns out his dad, in actuality, was shot down and died. Why the fuck was that a secret? Well, apparently, because it happened... uh, Where it happened was not legit or something. It's like uh, it happened over certain lines, so it had to be hushed up. That, it makes no sense. No, it doesn't like, at, at all. all. Like, like, so basically, they villainized his dad for no reason at all. Yeah. Like, just because and, but, we shouldn't have been in that airspace. Yeah, also, this isn't like a top secret... Okay, maybe it happened in the wrong area, but you don't have to make up a story like, he disappeared into yeah. the clouds. Like, Stole a plane. Fucking... What is that singer? <laughs> what is that? What? Um... <laughs> The big bopper? No, what is his name? <laughs> John Denver. He hasn't it? John Denvered. He's just he just shot. I mean, well, apparently he saved three planes in his squadron as well. Yeah, but they had to keep it quiet because it happened somewhere it wasn't supposed yeah. to. You could at least just say the family. Yeah, he died. He was shot down. Not like he, he disappeared with no idea. Yeah. Ooh, the mystery. I would have been more pissed off than 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 Maverick is as well because I'd have been like, wow, because of that, I couldn't get into flight school, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also like, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> is that it? The secret? I mean, I could have made... a massive anticlimax. It really is. Anyway, Viper says to him, basically, tomorrow is graduation day. Yeah. Turn you... up or don't. He says, you can either show up or you cannot. Yeah. They're, they're your two options. You probably knew this already. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's not Yoda, is he? Like, he <laughs> so do now... Or do not... <laughs> You can either get the bus home or you can get a taxi home. Yeah. Those are your options. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, the next day, it's graduation day. Yeah, there's no sign of Maverick. No, but Iceman is there. Yeah. And he is the toppest top gun. gun. The top toppest gun of, of the top the gun guns. Gun he has won the guns. trophy, um, as he should have. Yeah, I was like from the beginning. Yeah, throughout this film, I was like, "God, is he, is he's going to win it, isn't he? Maverick's going to be the Top Gun." But no, he isn't because he's not actually that good. Iceman is the yeah. best, the deserved winner. Yes, and he has won. Yes, and um, I know I, I did do a little fist pump. It's like thank fuck, <laughs> thank fuck they actually made the best pilot win, <laughs> not Tom Cruise. It's the this is the one <laughs> few Tom Cruise films where Tom Cruise isn't the absolute best at yeah. something. Anyway. Tom Cruise does show up, says congratulations. Yeah. I don't know. Gets to graduate. Yep. But then they're called away. Yeah, they uh, fucking Viper turns up and he's like, right, before you all have too many drinks, like they've been there hours, <laughs> yeah. like, before you have too many drinks, you have to deploy immediately. Yes. Like, because there's some shit going down yes. in the Indian Ocean where we started the film. It's yes. come full circle. Yes. 24 hours later, they're back in the Indian Ocean, <laughs> back on the fucking carrier. And there is a ship somewhere that has broken down in enemy, enemy territory, or some bollocks. Yeah. And they've got to go and get it, or some shit. Um, but Maverick is nervous. Yeah. Also, how are they going to get a ship in those planes? I don't know. They'd tow it back, are you? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> all throw a line out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're like fucking... Basically, he's assigned to be Iceman's wingman. And yeah. Iceman's like, um, excuse me, Principal Strickland, uh, are you sure about this? And he's like, just get on with it. Well, he's no, he's uh, he's like the backup, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he comes <clears throat> so, afterwards. That's yeah, it. so Maverick's new co-pilot is Merlin, Tim Robbins. Yes, Tim Robbins, who's just thankful to be back in the film. <laughs> yeah. So Iceman is sent out along with Hollywood. Yeah. Yes, they are, they're the, they're the two sent out. And there are MiGs, the awful 
big planes. But they said they think there's at least two in the area or something. And five show up. Five, yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is rude. Like, three turn <laughs> up without invites. Like, <laughs> typical Russians. So, yeah, three, five of them show up. And it's like, oh, shit. And Hollywood is shot down, but yeah. doesn't die. Um, and he just lands in the ocean safely. Who picks him up? I don't know. But nobody did. Just like, died. He's not important to the rest of No, he's really not. <laughs> so he's shot down and it's like, shit, so Iceman... Wolfman's... Uh, well, it's Hollywood and Wolfman that are shot down. Oh, is yeah, it? Wolfman's in the back. He's like, I love you, Maverick. He's like, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfman's just pretending to be dead. Like, you're not Goose. <laughs> I definitely hit the canopy on the way up. You didn't. Girl, someone check my head. <laughs> Somebody phone my wife. You're not married. <laughs> oh, Meg. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> it's just there howling in pain. Oh, you're not actually a wolf. You're not goose. Just, God damn it, man. Hollywood's like, why am I stuck with you? Just punching him as they're floating in the sea. God oh. damn it. <laughs> this guy has multiple personality disorder. He shouldn't be in a jet. But he's a co-pilot, and they're all fucking weirdo, useless people. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Iceman and Slider, his co they're all alone out there. So they got to send Maverick out. Yeah. And, and he Maverick... Kind of, he seems to sort of snap out of it a little bit. But he, he, little he gets out there, the doesn't he? Tags. And he... Yeah, he, he arrives out there in wherever that is, that area. Yeah. And he has a panic attack until he doesn't. Well, he looks um, at the dog tags that he should have given Goose's son. Yes. And he's like, oh, I forgot I had these. So he yeah, decides man. to get stuck in. Yeah. yeah. He's going to go out. And uh, Maverick and Iceman, they they go around and start shooting, shooting down the MiGs. Yes. And um, Maverick is, they're successful in there. Quite possibly starting a war, but who cares? Yeah. I mean, that's something I didn't sort of picked up at the end. Like, surely this whole thing is like a declaration of war almost. Yes. They send in Maverick, and he Mavericks the the MiGs. Yeah, who uh, Russian? Don't know. They Something. are Russian. Yeah, M MiGs are Russian planes. Mm, Russian but assuming, but not not necessarily Russian. This is during the Soviet Union, right? Wasn't it? But so, they have red stars on them. Don't they? Oh, I guess it is the Russians. It's then. Gotta be the Russians. So yeah, I don't think it's ever like said they those are the Russians. But no, they're just referred to as heavily MiGs. implied. Yes. Um. Yeah. There are casualties. Mm. People are shot down. MiG pilots die. Yeah. This is war. Yeah. Starting, but it's no, fucking not mentioned. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't no, start anything. No, at all. no, not at all. It's just a skirmish. <laughs> um, but yeah, the same thing happens from earlier. He gets into the a spin. Yeah, oh yeah, it does at one point. Yeah, fixes it this time. Yeah, but then he's like, "I'm done. I'm going. Like, I've had enough." Yeah, and he's gonna fuck off. And Ice Man's like, what "The fuck, dude!" And Tim Robbins is in the back with the most lines he's had in the film so far, can but they're the same line over and over again. <laughs> he's yeah. like, what are you doing, man? Yeah. Iceman's in trouble. We've got to go back. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Iceman's in trouble. We've got to go back. It's just like... Where are they? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phone to the mid. Where are they? <laughs> that's like, that's, you know, the co-pilot says... In the script, it probably that's all it said. Yeah. <laughs> with any of them. Co-pilot says, where are they? Throughout. Yeah. <laughs> On our tail. That's it. <laughs> three o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. Yeah. Where are they? You just said three o'clock. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I got <laughs> Lines the wrong way around. Um, so, yeah, they they win. Yeah. Iceman and Maverick go back. Happy yeah, days. There's a tense moment where um, Maverick's only got one missile left, but they do the whole brake thing again. Yeah. Like, so he puts the brakes on and flies back behind him and then he yeah. shoots him yeah. and they get back and everyone is cheering. Yes, and the Iceman's like, I still think you're a piece of shit. He goes, you can be you. Yeah. Like, oh, it's going to tell him off again. And he goes, you are still dangerous. You could, but you could be my wingman anytime. And Maverick's like, you could be my wingman. Yeah. He's like, no, it's, no, it's no, not what no, I said, no, no, no. Maverick. I'm you still be, better. Yeah. yeah, you can be mine. Yeah, because I'm definitely <laughs> yeah. the top gun. I'm actually the best one, not you. <laughs> Remember that. But my name's Maverick. Doesn't doesn't matter. I'm officially <laughs> Tom's the best. Tom's the best. No, no, no. Like, I have a fucking trophy yeah. and a plaque on a wall in a very prestigious academy, Maverick. I am actually the best. Woo! Yeah. I don't know why I went up Ric Flair. <laughs> Start strutting around yeah. the fucking deck of the plane. It's like <laughs> Wolf bands following in doing the yeah. same thing. <laughs> We've done this since we grew up, haven't we? Done, like, no! <laughs> 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 uh, and then that night. Well, 
this is Maverick throws Goose's dog yeah, tags into the ocean. In the ocean. Give them to his son. You don't think maybe his wife would you at least want to selfish <laughs> prick. <laughs> it's like, well, Goose, I'm over you now. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah. And he throws them away. I'm sure your kid's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Meg Ryan doesn't care. She's got Wolfman now. <laughs> dressed as you, which is weird. <laughs> Your son's young enough anyway. He thinks it's you. Like, he, you hadn't quite, like, <laughs> imprinted on him. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, 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 he throws him away. And then, um, is it, yeah, Principal Strickland, the, he says to Maverick, he's like, what's he? he goes, how does it feel to be on the front of every newspaper in the English-speaking world because of what happened? Yeah. Right. That doesn't ever happen. No. Like not at all. for all their work, I mean, I'm not saying this is how it should be, but for all the work they do and all the effort and all the brave stuff, fighter pilots, or generally army people, yeah. are not on the front of newspapers. They're not famous. Like, name me any fighter pilot from the last fifty years. Well, yeah, exactly. It doesn't Biggles. <laughs> Biggles. <laughs> Roy um, Chubby Brown. Yeah. <laughs> And if anyone should have been on the papers, it should have been Iceman. Yes, because he is the toppest yeah. guy. <laughs> anyway, he goes to a bar because, you know, drinking. Well, that's it, because Strickland's like, oh, yeah, like, they've given you any assignment. You can go anywhere you want. What are you going to choose? And he's like, Top Gun. And I'm going like, to teach. Yeah, I'm going to teach. And so, he's like, but you God can't. help us all. <laughs> yeah, but also, he can't because he didn't win. Well, apparently, they've changed all the rules because he's Tom fucking Cruise. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> Yeah, that whole ending makes no sense. No, like, I'm going to go back and teach Top Gun. Yeah, you can't. Only Iceman can. Yeah. He can do it because yeah, he's... Yeah, he's allowed. Yeah, you're not. When he wants to. Yeah. But I'm sure he's still going to go out and fight more, fly more missions. Yeah. But you just want to go and teach now. So not only are you, like, <laughs> fucking not that good, you're also a fucking coward. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to teach other people. All right, everyone, my name is Maverick, and I'm teaching you... Here, I'm here to teach you how to be second best. Yeah. <laughs> No questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who was who was the best? Iceman. Where's yeah. he? He's doing real work. Yeah. <laughs> so why are you teaching? I have anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, first lesson. Throw all the rules out the fucking window. This is Maverick School. Woo! Anyway, he goes to a bar, drinks. Charlie shows up. Whatever. The end. Yeah. All right. What I know what you thought, but what did you think? <laughs> Well, um, this is a poorly executed advert for the U.S. Navy. Um, like, oh no! Well, well, if it's just an advert for the U.S. Navy, it's a very successful. Apparently, it did well. They shamelessly, when this was released, mm. they set up uh, recruitment booths, recruitment yeah. stores like outside the cinemas and stuff. Yep. Like and and people signed up. Yes. Do you know how much the five hundred percent increase in recruits? That's insane. Off the back of this film, they reckon. Well, in that in the following like couple of years. That's insane. Yes, because people want to be whoa, yeah. like, <laughs> fucking maverick. But yeah, like, but uh, it is obviously. I mean, we've joked all the way through it, but it it it's an incredibly homoerotic film. There's no getting away from it. Yeah. There's lines of dialogue. There's like everything else. You, it just is. Yeah. But um, not that there's there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but kind of it wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> no. But and it made young men everywhere want to join the navy. Yeah. Something like that. But then it turns out that none of those young men were sp- in the eighties were allowed to. But. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, strange that, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> okay, um, well, I'm gonna bang everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, I mean, this was such a huge film. Yeah. Massive. And I, I never saw this before yesterday. Even though I was I, surprised when you told me that before. Yeah. Everyone knows what Top Gun is. Yeah, nobody's never heard of yeah, Top everyone's Gun. Everyone's a Maverick even, and Iceman. I think even sort of the younger generation, I would say, yeah. have probably heard of it. Yeah. But for such a huge film, not a lot happens. Uh-oh. Like, there, honestly, <clears throat> it's pretty thin on plot. There is not much that happens. Honestly, I think they kill Goose just so something happens uh, yeah. in the film. Yeah. Like, that is the only fucking... That's like, nothing's really happening. Should we do... What should we do? Uh, kill that one. Yeah. <laughs> Goose. Flip a coin. <clears throat> yeah. And it wasn't Tom. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, not much happens, really. But I can kind of appreciate the technical skill to make this film. Yeah. Like, there's a... 
all real planes. All that shit's actually happening on screen. Yeah. Um, there was no CGI. I they think... did have a lot of help from the US Navy, <clears throat> apparently. Yes, which they had to pay for. Yes. Yes. They did, indeed. <laughs> and they insisted on uh, having one final look at the script or something. Yeah. Or, 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 the, or the finished film before it was mm. released. We mentioned about the, uh, the US Navy... This was basically like a recruitment tool, and it yeah. worked very well. Um, this was also the birth of home video, where you could buy... Video 4 was only really for renting. Yeah. This was the first real one where it was like people were taking it home, right. buying it for themselves. Um, and the producers offered the US Navy to put... They offered them a chance to put an advert, a recruitment advert, at the beginning of the film on the video in right. order to, you know pay back some of the money that they owed them. I think I've seen it. I think I've seen it. Like, no, it doesn't it, exist. Does it not exist? All no. oh, right, okay. Well, that's that's me making shit up then. Because they they looked at the offer like, well, if they if we put this advert on the beginning of the video, yeah. Like, yeah. Um we don't have to pay for it, but also we don't they won't owe us as much money. Like, okay. Ah, and someone said to them like, yeah, no, the film itself is the advert. We don't need to do this. Right. They're like, oh yeah. So finally, the producers like, nah, you still owe some money. <laughs> <laughs> so cunning. Yes. I know when you mentioned that, I was like, I hadn't suddenly had this advert in my like this recruitment. Maybe I've just seen a recruitment thing, and I just assumed it was on. Didn't work I on you. Definitely saw Top Gun on VHS. I'm that old. Wow. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. It's. I don't know. It's kind of fun, I guess, and like the action scenes are pretty impressive. All the talking stuff is not. Um, I mean, it's certainly not the worst film I've watched for the podcast. Like, it's not. Um, no, I've seen a hell of a lot worse. But it's very. It's. Uh, I just I, Tom Cruise makes me really angry. I know. <laughs> like, we we all know. Yeah. No. <laughs> I just don't. I don't like his face. I don't like the whole thing of him. Like that whole like his whole rapey vibe. Like um, when he's supposed to be flirting and stuff. It's just. Isn't, he's not right. <laughs> he's not right. <laughs> and I know this is acting or whatever, but you you know, it's yeah. in him. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, some fun bits of trivia for you. Mm-hmm. The budget of this sucker, $15 million. Right. It grossed $357 million. Wow. Instead of the beginning, it was the most successful film of 1986. That's, in, that's an incredible fucking... Mm. Number two was Crocodile Dundee. Number three was Platoon. Oh, and Platoon's a good film Platoon as well. is like a really, a really, good, really film. good film yeah. uh, let's have a look now Stunt Pilot uh, whose name I've put down as Art School but that's a typo I don't actually have his real name which is bad because he's, uh, <laughs> he's dead he died he was killed during filming uh, the exact cause of the crash was never determined and neither his body nor the aircraft was ever recovered he's Maverick's he's dad Duke yeah <laughs> And the film was dedicated to him. But yeah, it's like, surely we take some time to look into that. we got a film to make. Yeah. Like, well, his, we can see the planes now. We've got a film to make. Yeah, he's oh, lost. Okay. He's lost to the sea. Like, I'm not dead <laughs> yet. <laughs> it's just floating Someone on top of it. Someone help me. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for him. We, we can. Yeah. <laughs> um, all of the actors were obviously taking up, taken up in uh, these F-14s and yeah. flown around and spun around and every one of them vomited except for Anthony Edwards. Because Goose is a legend. Because he was dead. (laughs) (laughs) His body flopping around. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Val Kilmer really didn't want to do this film, but he was contractually obliged. He does mention it in his um, documentary that he made recently. Oh, Val. He says, yeah, he wasn't... um, wasn't too enamoured with it. No. I and thought you can, it was a shit script. It is. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't wrong. You can kind of tell, like, he... The way he delivers his lines is a bit like, I can't really be asked. Yeah, yeah. But also, in the same way, it's not a bad performance because he manages to get pretty much Iceman's enta- entire character across with just the way he looks and, yeah. like, his mannerisms. Like, it's the toothy grin, it's the the spiked-up blonde hair, it's it's... He doesn't need to say much. When he does say things, he's just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Maverick. I think this is one of the films where he first got that uh, difficult to work with label as well. He yeah. didn't really want to be there. Tom Cruise, whilst filming scenes with Kelly McGillis, had to wear lifts. <laughs> <laughs> because Kelly McGillis stands at five foot ten, while poor old Tom is only five foot seven. <laughs> and the end scene with them together, yep. she stood in a ditch. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I mean, he's only he's shorter than me by like an inch, <laughs> <laughs> which is still shorter, Tom. <laughs> Turn up at my house, I'll change my mind. <laughs> Turn up at my house, I'll kick you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, no, like, yeah, there's no, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being short, but he's Tom Cruise, so fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, um, you know, the, the opening, the opening shots of them landing and that, like you mentioned the sunset. Yeah. The, the, the big, um, on the horizon in the aircraft carrier that was shot out at sea on an aircraft carrier, which they got onto, the yeah. whole like team, the crew and everything. And um, Tony Scott being Tony Scott, the, 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 the aircraft character is on a course. Yeah. It's not there for the film. They've just joined it. Yeah. And they're doing this stuff and they're filming it. And it's on a course to wherever. Tony Scott says to the captain, because it turns, he's like, can you turn back? Uh, because the the sun isn't right now. I want you to turn it back to change. I want you to change course so I can get yeah. the sun back in the shot. <clears throat> and they're like, no, because <laughs> we're the U.S. Navy, yeah, and we don't do what you tell us. Plus, just turning a carrier is a bit of an effort. It's like how much of an effort? And they went, it's about twenty five thousand dollars to change the course of this ship. Tony Scott gets his checkbook out, writes Joking. the captain check for $25,000 the captain changes course the check bounces oh. like, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. well, did I love... they never follow it up and get it off him too late by then isn't yeah. it I mean, he's probably gone back to England don't give a fuck <laughs> such a weird Hollywood also, fucking thing to happen yeah also but the captain was clearly just going to pocket the thing because he's not actually going to hand it into the navy is he? Here's a check from Tony Scott. Just hand it yeah. into the Navy HQ. <laughs> like, yeah, Tony's like, who do I make this out to? Yeah. It's like Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't make a check out to like, yeah, the US the Navy. The Navy. <laughs> <laughs> I just try and cash that. That's why it bounced. You probably wrote a check to the Navy. <laughs> Us Navy. Right. <clears throat> Actors who turned down the role of Maverick include... Matthew Modine, Emilio Estevez, Nicolas Cage. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's a missed opportunity. John Cusack, Michael J. Fox, and you think Tom Cruise is short. Oh. Scott Bayo, John Travolta. Right. Hey, ooh, ace man. <laughs> and Tom Hanks. Tom uh, Hanks in the 80s, that would have been a weird... This would have been a whole different film. Look, like, because that's when he was doing all his mugging comedy stuff. Yeah, Tom Cruise... Uh, sorry, Tom Hanks Tom would Hanks. have been a good co-pilot in the back. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> and <clears throat> just before, the last bit of trivia for a bit of fun... These are the actual call signs of the actual pilots that did the flying in the oh, film. Oh, I read these, yeah. Right. First one, Bozo. Yep. D-Bear. Lona. <laughs> he didn't have a co-pilot. <laughs> Could have been Maverick, but no, yeah. Lona. Lona. <laughs> Curly. Silver. Rabbi. Yeah. Too Cool. Squire. Bio. Vida. Horse. Player, organ. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Circus, jambo, sex. Spell S E C K S. Yeah. yeah. Sunshine, Hollywood. There was a Hollywood. Flex, sobs. <laughs> that must have been the one that had a panic attack. <laughs> Tex, boo, rat, and jaws. Nice. They're not quite Iceman and Maverick. <laughs> you got like Bozo, Sobs, Rat, <laughs> Lona. <laughs> These don't sound like Top Guns. No. Oh, crazy. And did you get any comments on this? Oh, I did. Um, I got two. Well, obviously, like I put originally, uh, tomorrow we'll be talking about chatting shit about the 1986 smug face twat Tom Cruise starring homoerotic US Navy advert that is Top Gun so the first comment I got was from Ian Broughton who said it's good that you're coming at it from a neutral standpoint though <laughs> yeah. uh, 
Dan Jenkins said, <clears throat> original music from Top Gun far outshines the film itself. Uh, Agreed. Actually, I'd go as far as to say that I prefer the spiritual successor Days of Thunder. Can't beat some wheelchair racing. I've never seen Days of Thunder. That's also Tony Scott. It is a Tony Scott. Oh. Film, yes. Well, we might um, have to do that next then, <laughs> because I've never off. seen it. <laughs> uh, Alexandra Davies, our friend, said, Goose dies. We know. So, yeah, spoilers. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Lucky I didn't see that before I watched it last night, Alex. What the fuck? Christ. So, yeah, that's all I had. I don't think it got <clears throat> any on Insta. Uh, over here, I've got Wreckhead Chronicles. It says, it's like an extended Wham! video. <laughs> that's not uh, a bad shout. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but with not as good music. Oh, I don't know. What would you rather listen to right now? The Top Gun soundtrack or Wham's greatest hits? The Top Gun soundtrack. I'm going with Wham. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Wham. What? No. Oh, mate. <laughs> Underrated pop genius. Anyway. Oh, and uh, one from Dead Good Tease, it just says, always hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I did get one more on Instagram, Dan the Mad. Uh, the best film to grace this goddamn earth. I feel the need, the need for speed, not the illegal substance. Who's that from? Uh, Dan the Mad. Dan the Mad? Yeah. Well, that explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> Code name for Tom Cruise. <laughs> it's Tom Cruise just shouting. <clears throat> uh, and yeah, just before we go, of course, uh, the sequel is out this month, end of this month. Yes. Well, I went to see Dot Strange the other day, and uh, not only they didn't just have a trailer for the new Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick. Mm. Uh, they literally said a sneak peek. So like, not being a fan, I was like, I'm going to use this opportunity. Just nip to the loo. Yeah. Uh, by the time I came back, it was still going. Uh, and it still went on for another few minutes after I sat down. So I don't know how Matt was with me. And it was like, literally, I feel like I've seen the film. Right. So that seems like a weird like choice to publicise this film. Yeah, so I, I saw the trailer. Um, I've seen the actual trailer. Yeah, I went to see... The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, which is great, by the way. The oh, Nicolas Cage I film. See that. Um, yeah, the, it just looks like the exact same thing again. Yeah. But with old Cruise instead of Tom Cruise. Yeah, and it's Goose's son, isn't it? This He's is probably, uh, Miles Teller. If at some point he doesn't turn around and go, I mean, you could have given me my dad's dog tags. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? Give me that. Give me that. Um, yeah, it's out uh, end of this month, I think. I mean, I'll probably see it. I won't see it in the cinema, but I probably yeah, watch I'll it. probably see it at some point. Um, like I said, it just seems like the same thing again, yeah. but with like a fifty-eight-year-old man now. Yeah, uh, as as the Top Gun. So Tom Cruise is like the the scary character this time. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so uh, that that was it. That was the Top Gun. Hope you enjoyed it. I didn't really. No, it's it's not a great film. It's it's not, not a bad worst. film. No, it's not the worst. It's just not a great film. But and go. it does have Tom Cruise in it. Yeah. So. Thank you for watching. We love you. Happy birthday. Bye. Ta-ta. Well, thank you all for coming here tonight and drinking all of my booze. <laughs> no, really. Please leave. The party's over. Get out.